Okay, so let's take a look at working in sculpt mode. Um, if you click on the purple sculpt mode, you will arrive here. And we are going to start with a simple box. Uh, we're going to just place this here to work with, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, you would, of course, type in your uh, sizes to work with. Um, sculpt mode allows you to push and pull on various uh, edges, faces, and vertices of your uh, original primitive. It also allows you to uh, modify aspects of that by, uh, for example, either subdividing an area here, and it will turn it into four additional spaces, um, or you can modify by uh, inserting an edge, which will subdivide into two, and you select an edge here, and it will uh, create another edge relative to that edge, which you can then move around. Uh, whether that's in half or, or not, um, you can move it closer or farther away with the controls. So that's a simple uh, intersect. We have other types of intersections. We have uh, the capacity to put, um, say, uh, another single edge on both sides of the edge that's selected. Um, all kinds of options. So let's take a look at what that means. Let's say OK. So now we have a whole bunch of things. And you can see these have then changed the edge here because it added that additional uh, contact point, right, to become uh, a corner. Um, I'm then going to finish that form. You can see the dent it has. I haven't really done anything to it. I'm going to create another one. Um, and you'll see that this is a separate uh, form here in your history. If you continue to create forms without finishing the form, you will have them all in the same environment. And it might be more difficult to change those individual bits later. Um, OK. So we would like yet another one of these, roughly. And I would like everything I do to have a symmetry to it. Um, and in fact, uh, it's a width symmetry that I want. So things I do on the left-hand side will happen on the right-hand side. Um, that will give us the capacity to do some of these things together. Um, similarly, you can see how if I hold the shift key down, I can select two and it will then give me the symmetrical modifications on the other side, right? And now I'm able to create something that will give me a much, uh, greater balance, uh, since we're doing furniture, balance is usually a thing. Um, there we go. Then we can add some additional points if we choose to. Now, uh, as we're working with this, we may decide that certain uh, areas need to be raised, uh, right? So we can edit this form. And then that area, you see, can be brought up in space, can be brought out in space. Um, we can make whatever changes we need to.
So there's a start anyway. Um, as you're walking, working with sculpt mode, the capacity for symmetry is going to be key, the capacity to move edges as well as faces, and to really pay attention to where the faces and the edges might start to overlap or cause problems. Let's see now, if I finish this form, let's see if I can then uh, export this body as, uh, as an STL. All right, let's see. If we save as STL, it seems to think we're okay. I'm going to try and export it. Let's do that. It's thinking, it seems pretty happy. So there's a sculpt mode uh, piece of furniture that uh, while it looked a little iffy on a couple points, did manage to hold together and be exportable. That gives you the idea that you could very easily work with um, multiple bodies here to then see if we can join those. Yes, so now we have one STL. And oh, you know, the other thing I would probably do, let's make that big enough and there we go. Move this back in space and over so that it's under that. And then let's see how that's going to cut those feet so they're flat on the bottom. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do conveniently is we're going to cut, we're going to target body is this one that we're going to cut. The tool body is going to be this. And that will, ta-da, give the um, cylinders of the feet a flat surface for me to print on and not too big a curve for me to deal with. Uh, and it should be able to do it without supports, except for straight under the bottom here, which makes sense. Um, okay, so then we are at a point where I can download this and save as STL. Couch two with feet. And we're in business. Um, hopefully that is useful information in your uh, as you approach your furniture design. Right? If I wanted to make the back less straight and bump out more, I could go back to this and edit. Uh, And that, once you click OK and finish form, we'll add those changes back to this single body. And we can download again, save as STL. And this would be couch three with a rounder back. Oops. OK. Ah, more pleasing to the eye, more difficult to put in the room. <laughs> Um, those are some of your options. Hopefully it will get you started and you can have some fun.